Hi Scorpio, it's Elle here to do your oracle reading for this week. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It is much appreciated. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's go ahead and jump into this. Thank you, Lord God, for blessing Scorpio with a clear, concise message from you. All right. So, Scorpio, in the past, you may have been dealing with someone that you you could have been married with or it could have been a live-in situation. Um, they thought they were the boss of you or vice versa. This was you. You thought you were the boss of them. You're the Lord over them. You were the the landlord, the homeowner, the scholar, the more educated one. I don't know. Um, this person could have been very submissive, subservient to you, very um, just yielding in in every in every way. Whatever you said, they they bent, bent over backwards for you, or this was you in terms of dealing with. Uh, maybe a past partner or someone that you kind of on the outs with finances and support are coming up heavy here support with the finances card some of you you get support from an ex or you're expecting support from an ex there may be children involved but this person plays a lot of games okay or they played a lot of games um they wish to control you again in some way. Um, and I think you being out of the connection, out of the relationship, they no longer have control over you. Some of you could be dealing with someone who's already married. Um, they are an older gentleman. Um, they, If they're not still married, they've already been married. They possibly don't want to do that again or they don't want to rush into marriage again. Um, they have a lot to offer in terms of wisdom, life experience. They're just out to have fun, okay? And they could want to have a long talk with you, a heart-to-heart -heart about maybe their intentions uh, for you, with you, and just for themselves. Um, we have somebody here who just doesn't care any longer. Um, and melancholy is also showing up. Someone just feels... Avoid. They feel nothing. They feel despondent. They feel they're in between uh, feeling nothing and feeling so much and feeling so many emotions. So somebody is just um, calling, call, uh, they're melancholy about the situation here. They used to be, you know, over the top about this relationship and now they can't find they can't find the emotions to to care anymore someone just doesn't care and just don't care um, possibly because somebody knows that they're playing games okay there's also somebody here with um, needing to control maybe their sexual urges because they're all they do is dream about sex with you. Either you, Scorpio, or vice versa. This is you dreaming about sex with someone else. Um, there's also some repression here in terms of sexual desire, fantasy, because there's an energy here where someone might be confused about if they're attracted to men or women or both, okay? Um, and someone could be trying to push those urges away or push it down or just not know what to do with uh, those emotions, with those feelings, okay? Um, some of you need some retail therapy. You need to, you should buy that item. You need some self-care to happen. Um, there's also an energy of somebody thinking of you intensely so that you, you will feel the connection, you will feel them. Um, maybe so that you'll reach out to them so that they can talk to you. This is somebody that you're not, you, you definitely have broken up with this person. This is a past love, okay? It could have been a marriage, long-term committed relationship, something where maybe the person was older than you, you were older than them. There was somebody who felt like they were the boss and you were the employee or vice versa. I don't know, but there's definitely um, an 
uh, an issue of uh, feeling better than or, or feeling like someone has the power. The cards want you to take the advice of um, love yourself as much as you want your soulmate to love you, okay? Um, so make sure you love yourself as much as you want your soulmate to love you. Put all of that energy, that care, back to self-care. Do something for you. Buy something. Go somewhere. Take yourself out. Treat yourself. Um, finances. You could be financially supporting someone. Um, or you are expecting financial support from someone. Um, there has been a lot of back and forth, playing games, and maybe even... Um, court proceedings in terms of how much money they owe or they will give you um, there is someone new here also um, it looks like there's someone new here who wants to court you wants to date you um, and maybe there's an energy of someone else praying for your downfall they don't want to see you happy they don't want to see you up they don't want to see you in a better place um, if things are going bad right now then they'll probably stay the same if they're really positive then they'll stay the same there is some constancy or con uh, yeah some constant energy here where there's something that's unchanging someone is unwavering in their decision in their stance that they're they've taken against um maybe even having sex here um, there has been a lot of maybe abstinence or chastity or uh, for whatever reason it could be for religious reason but there's also some repression of uh, maybe some thoughts that someone doesn't want to think about because they could be um, of the same sex, okay? So this is what I have for you, Scorpio. If it resonates for you, go over to the website, book your reading there, take advantage of the text question where you can text a question to the number below. You can also donate to the channel by clicking the buy me a coffee link. Thank you. Many blessings to you. Take care.